Hey guys, Mr. Happy here. Uh, that's right, Final Fantasy XI videos. Are you probably wondering where the hell have these been the whole time? I know a lot of people uh, have been wondering that because I get I get asked about it on my Twitch stream or on uh, or on comments in my videos, old comments as well for my old Final Fantasy XI videos, and people have been wondering why I haven't been doing them as of late. And you know, I I explain a little bit of that. You know, as I was getting towards the end of when I did the first, what, 33 parts, 32 parts, I guess, because I just released part 33, uh, not too long before this recording, that uh, these are very time-consuming to do, and uh, it's not always it's not always as simple as, oh, I just need to go play the game, and then it'll be up soon. Uh, I'm working on something. I'm waiting for one more payment to come through. Uh... So I can do everything I need to on my end for the hardware and software that I have in need and that I need upgrades for. And then I should be able to record a lot more footage and put out more videos. I don't want to put out too many videos at a time, especially with Final Fantasy XI. I kind of want to stagger these a little bit. I don't want to burn myself out of Final Fantasy XI videos again. So um, I'm working on some things behind the scenes. But don't worry. I mean... Really, another big thing was there were a lot of things that I was doing at the time. A lot of games I was trying to enjoy and at the same time also report on. And uh, it just, I got, this got lost in the mix somewhere. But uh, in this video, because it's, I guess technically I'm like coming back. It's like my big, not my big comeback, not one of my Aerosmith or something. I don't know. But uh, I figure I'll do something a lot of people have been requesting in a video. And that is Unlock Adulin, which is the expansion area. I've never been there. I've never seen anything from there. I've never seen a video, a picture. I don't know anything about this area. The, okay, I take it back. The only pictures I've seen are the pictures of the final three bosses of Delve, which which I saw that like two, three months ago. Like one was a T-Rex, I think. Holy crap. I should probably be reading this. I don't have to go to all these places, do I? I, I looked up what I had to do with her, but I didn't look up what I have to do for the next mission. I'm going to scroll up and read through that and actually not read the Wikipedia. <sighs> I hope I don't have to go to all those places. It's going to be a long video if we do. Actually, I guess it's okay if it's a long video, but that is not a one-part video if I got to go to all those places. All right, let's, let's read the text. All right. Thank you for your interest in the Pioneer Partnership Program. As part of the application process, you will need this geomagnetron. Our survey staff has inspected each of the areas in question and placed special markings at a particular location. And now... This list looks daunting, but we have faith that we... It doesn't say if I only... Oh, which one you visit is your choice. Okay, so I only have to visit one. Rangumont Pass. Gee, after the last video, I'm sure I would love to go back there. Taisai Jin, I'm sure, would love it too. Uh, you got Grotto King Ramper's Tomb? Uh, Tremor... I'm not going to the... I can't go to the canal. What am I... Like, I have an option. Garlage Citadel, Maze of Shock Ram... Maze of Shock Rami might be a good place to go. I still kind of want to check for Leech King while I'm there. Dangriff Wadi, absolutely not happening. I hope that these, these areas are all in safe places. I don't feel like running around to all those places, so... I'm gonna check to see what... I'm sorry the music just cut out. You got Grotto... You know, some of these places are really, really easy, and I just realized that. Like, you got Grotto and Palboro Mines. Like, I could just go to any of these places. I don't just go to Palboro Mines. I started in, um... I just tried to use E to move. Shows how much Final Fantasy XIV I've been playing. And I'm having trouble remembering the controls. There we go. After I took all that time in the previous episodes to re-get used to the controls, I have just boned myself. Alright, so one thing I do remember is I can teleport between home points, so let's go to, um, let's go to Palboro, I mean, I could just teleport right there, can I? I'm pretty sure I have a home point that takes me right to Palboro Mines. In fact, I had to, because it was in a video. When I was getting my, my Kazam keys, that had to have been a thing. Travel to another home point. I don't think it's going to be in best stock. Gustaberg, yeah, yeah, yeah. Palboro Mines, there we go. I didn't even think of that. Oh, I still have 1.8 mil. <laughs> I am like, it's like I just started playing again for the first time. I do really want to apologize for the lack of fun. Because I know a lot of you, a lot of people in my channel really liked. Even though, you know, a lot of the time, it's just really me talking. <laughs> like, Final Fantasy XI is Final Fantasy XI and I go over some memories, but it's just me talking. 
I could talk. I should just make videos of me talking. Or audio clips, I guess. Because uh, a lot of people seem to just like to listen to me ramble on about random stuff. I guess a lot of some of it's not rambling. Some of it is, like, really good memories I have of this game. And you know what? I was actually having a talk with some of my Final Fantasy fourteen Free Company members about some of those times the other day. And I guess that is kind of what made me think about uh, making another video or releasing even the other video. And then when I released the other video, I all of a sudden said, I, make it, I want to make another part. I have more time now. I've I've done a lot of the stuff I wanted to for patch 2. Point. By the way, I'm sorry, but it's habit. I got to kill this guy. I, I was walking by and I'm like, I, I know he's here. No, Nobody's going to be killing this guy right now. So I'm going to stop in and kill him. This guy have Benediction? I don't remember. He's definitely a white mage. But I don't think he has benediction. Oh, I'm still sub dancer. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we—I don't remember what we were talking about. I think we were talking about difficulty in games. And I've had this—I had this discussion with somebody else before too. This is not the first time I've had this discussion, where a lot of people say like they like. I remember it eventually branched off into a conversation about EverQuest. Well, you know about games that were really difficult like ages ago when. Um, Really, really making players hate themselves at some point or another was a very strong point of, of MMOs like EverQuest and Final Fantasy. I'm like, oh, I hate this game, but you love it at the same time. And I think we were just talking about what was the most difficult game we've ever played. And somebody said Final Fantasy XI. And I said, I don't think Final Fantasy XI was necessarily difficult for me. Sure, I have a lot of memories of times where I died and where... I, it was absolutely, you know, stupid, and I could, and it may have seemed hard, but I also remember. First of all, I was 13 years old when I started playing this game, like, and I had never really played an MMO. I played like what Silk Road Online, and like that was my only. And I think I played Silk Road Online after I got into Final Fantasy XI. I'm pretty sure, no matter which way I look at it, this was my first MMO. Uh, I played Champions of Norath, I think, before this, which is an EverQuest game. By the way, I don't even know where this thing is. Some map 2. I don't know what map 2 is. I'm guessing this is map 3, though. So I'm going to go down a floor. So, uh... But, yeah, he said that this that Final Fantasy XI, because he was specifically thinking of Absolute Virtue and Pandemonium Warden. And I remember... I just remember how the difficulty of this game worked. There were a few things that made this game difficult that... I really don't feel like it was a deserving difficult uh, difficulty level, but uh, I definitely feel like as the game went on, they learned a lot more, and they were able to make fights more legitimately challenging, but instead of it being like complicated things that you need to figure out, it's usually just prepare, wait, react. And I guess it's like that with any game, but it was like that with Final Fantasy XI even more. Most of the abilities that made the game hard were just because they were ridiculously overpowering compared to your character. Like, if you wanted to make a boss harder in Final Fantasy XI, you made him hit harder, or you made him paralyze really often. Or Every, every I guess, boss in the game had an ability that, um, that, were, that were similar. There were very few bosses that had abilities that were, that were really, really unique, you know? Like, I remember the first boss I felt was really unique was Proto Ultima. Uh, even maybe just regular Ultima. I just remember Citadel Buster. Like, Citadel Buster was a ridiculous mechanic. And, and I remember doing Citadel Buster before people had, like, crazy good gear. You know, the first time, like, before everyone had Aegis, like, before everyone I played with had an Aegis or crazy magic defense sets or, well, Rune Fencer sub doesn't count because that was nowhere even near to being available. Uh, so, before I go any further, by the way, before I get any more lost, where the hell is I'm at H8. So I gotta, is it this way? No, I don't think it is. I think I gotta go back up and around. I think it's like, yeah, it is. Okay, yeah, it's where those double circles are. So I went down the wrong way. I'll go back up. Um, I forgot I had a map to this place. But yeah, just, that mechanic was literally just, <laughs> who has aggro on the boss? You stay here. We're getting the hell out. <laughs> <laughs> is pretty much how the mechanic worked. It was like, you are a lamb. We have no way of surviving this attack. You, you're gonna die, and we're gonna come in and hopefully not die after you. And then it was just a matter of, how good was your party at not dying? Because I always remember, I was a black mage, and I hit, and I was, I had really good gear, so I hit really freaking hard. And I always got aggro. I was always if I wasn't the he if it wasn't the healers, it was me or like one of the samurais. So 
<laughs> I remember just the feeling of getting teleported into the room after you you're watching the countdown for citadel buster or somebody's telling you on like Venlo or something and then all of a sudden it just says i'm drawn in and i'm like crap <laughs> i have i have no hope for myself at this point oh man but like that to me wasn't like that didn't i guess everyone has a different uh thought of what difficulty is you know i'm somebody who prefers to have my oh is that, is that, was that it yes that's got to be a geomagnetic fount Okay. Do I, have to, I don't have to fight anything, do I? No. Okay. So, uh... Okay. So, I guess I'm done here. I gotta go back to the top, because I don't think I have any... I think... Oh, no, no, I might. Yeah, instant warp. I was like, I died in the last video. I have to have an instant warp scroll. Like, I obviously went out there with one. Yeah, so, like, difficulty in this game... A lot of overpowering numbers. The harder... The, the higher level something was, the, the harder it would hit. Or the higher its attack power was tuned, the harder it would hit. And it, was, it wasn't so much about... Because every boss pretty much had the same abilities at their disposal. You know, big AoEs, or or an AoE that paralyzes, or a single target spell that paralyzes, or a conal attack, or a tail attack. Like, they're very, very basic mechanics. It's just a matter of a few little things. Like, it'll be like, how long does it take for the ability to go off? Or what conditions does that attack trigger? Like, Spike Flail. Obviously, you never wanted to trigger Spike Flail, ever. So something like that is a good is a good example of uh, of just like different ways mechanics work and how you would try. It wasn't so much about memorization and uh, <laughs> somebody just asked me real happy, yes sir. <laughs> it's funny because <laughs> the link shell I was at, I apologize to anybody who was in the link shell that invited me back uh, back when I started the series because <laughs> I am the lone survivor. Before I go hand this quest in, before I go hand this question, Mountain Dew, <laughs> I am the lone survivor. There were a lot of people in this Link shell when I was playing before, and not all of them were just, like, fans of my series. They were people who were playing outside of that, some of which I was familiar. Oh, man, Chaos. Chaos Tormentor. I played with that guy in ages, man. Me and that guy, he was like one of the group. Like, we did a lot of content together. I have a few other friends who I did a lot of content together. But anyway, I keep getting off the point about the stupid difficulty thing. Like, I can't... I get distracted easily. I think we've been over that. Uh, we've definitely been over that in one video or another. So, yeah, it's just like... The game wasn't difficult. It was time-consuming for me. Uh, back then, when I had no other judgment of difficulty, like, if this is the only MMO you've played, or it's the first one you've played, it'll, it, and especially because it's one of the older ones, it looks a lot more difficult than it is, or it feels a lot more difficult, because it's, you're learning, no matter what, until you, until you know how to do something, something is difficult, like, if, if you've never done something before, it, some, for some people it comes naturally, but it doesn't matter what it is, you still have to learn the ins and outs of everything. So it's difficult to you at some point or another. So it's ignorance on my part to say the game wasn't difficult. At some point, there were things that were difficult for me. <laughs> like like getting to Valkram Dunes. That was pretty hard, wasn't it? I can't say that wasn't hard. I died. I died in Valkram Dunes a lot. I, 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 when I first went to Valkram Dunes, my friend's like, Oh yeah, you go level there at level 10. He never told me I needed a party to level there at level 10. So I went, I'm just like, da dee da dee da uh, lizards attack. And I was like, I examined it, it was like, incredibly tough, and I'm like, really? I thought he said I was supposed to level here. I can't kill any of this stuff. And I was, because I wasn't supposed to do it alone. I was supposed to party up with people. Hmm. I'm explaining something to somebody. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I can do some end game content. He's asking, he's seeing, he's like, oh, seeing if you were coming back to the game, because a lot of people have been doing so. And I'm like, yeah, I, I record here for my YouTube channel. I haven't been here the new, I haven't been here lately because of the new Final Fantasy XIV patch. So if he wants to, like, carry my main character through some content, I'll do some content video for you, for you guys. The, I'll do some more recent, like, I guess more recent update sort of videos, like on my main character, on the character that actually uh, is level 99 with some item level like 114 stuff because you get it for free from Sparks or once in, whatever it is. 
So I finished this and I have my permit. So I guess onward to Adeline. Activate. Oh, there's a waypoint. Okay. Sorry that the music keeps cutting out when I when I click because I have no idea where I'm going. And you know this this game was created in the days of, uh, you know, not everything in the game is just like go there, do that. It's there's no like waypoints. Tell well, it's ironic because I'm literally going to a waypoint. But uh, and doors don't open for you automatically. <laughs> Uh, but yeah. Okay, I guess it's not here. It's H7 somewhere. I will find it. I guess maybe if I... Nope. <laughs> so yeah, um... Yeah, I'll do some recent content if, uh... If the opportunity arrives, I really have no intention of, like, getting hardcore into this game again. Like, I've told so many people, where is the damn waypoint? There it is, it's that thing. <laughs> I couldn't even see it, colorblind. If, uh, if I have the opportunity, yeah, I'll do some content. I'll do some content here. Might as well. Alright, so I have no idea. I don't know anything about where I'm going. Absolutely nothing. So, this will be my first time seeing Adelaide. So, we're creating new memories right now. You and I... You and me and however many of you actually watch this video, because it's been a while, so it probably won't be that many people. Uh, we're making a memory. The Chazak? I'm going to assume that's not Sazak. I'm going to call it Chazak. Chazak Battlegrounds. Okay. That doesn't sound like a safe place to put me. As I'm level 51. I would... I hope... This isn't... Good, I hope this doesn't end bad. Whoa! Okay... Is that me? That is a violent way to travel. <laughs> My guy does not look like he enjoyed that at all. Um. Okay. I. <laughs> Cutscene. I'm down. I'm kind of just like ribbing this right now. Ah! Uh, no, dude, you're level 51. You do not want to be here right now. This is where the 99s hang out. Whoa! Okay. Wait a minute. Is that... What are those things? What is that thing called? Is that a victory bell? Not that thing. The other things. Heartwing. Wow. What second pack? Oh, sacred pack. Good reading, me. The land thirst for... Hey, it's victory bell again. Hey! Leave the kid alone. Okay, thank God NPCs are here, because I was not ready for that. <laughs> There's no way that, as a level 51, I am prepared to fight anything in this area. Whoa, 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 the victory bell is, is running rampant. Whoa, what do we got here? Oh! Is that, is that a geomancer? Or is she just doing funny things? Okay, I guess she's just doing funny things, because I'm no way I'm a geomancer. Okay. What is this treachery? The blessing of the spirits. Alright, seriously, are these victory bells just gonna look at us? Hold your ground and look fearsome. I don't understand. I'm guessing that these spirits make us allowed to be here. <laughs> my <laughs> my guy looks so stupid. <laughs> he looks so stupid with that thing in his hand. To make yourself look bigger. Okay, we scared off all the victory bells. Awesome. A sword maiden? I would like to know your real name, please. Yeah, you might want to get out of here. Those heart wings are still kind of just, uh, whatever those things are. They're kind of, they're just staring at you. That's probably not a good thing. Oh. Grandpa's really ill? Okay, that's a good reason. He coughs all the time. Oh, does this person have a lisp? I'm not going to make fun of him. Thigh moss. Okay. Leave the place at one. Okay, we'll leave. 
tax upon your families. Hey, leave us alone. Whoa, stool sacks. Did she just call them pieces of shit? Well, sacks of shit. That's what stool is. That's offensive. I would, I would, I would be offended. From here, proceed in yonder direction. All right. Wow. Great. Well, this is not going to end well. If I have to walk around and find this thyme moss before I can actually go to Adulin, we're going to be in trouble. <laughs> I didn't... I don't have any... Sil I don't think I have any silent oils. Is there an auction... Oh, holy love... There's probably not an auction house in Adulin. I just realized. There might be, but I still see a lot of people in Juno. That's for other reasons. Of course, it's only proper. My name is Mr. Happy. Well, this... Okay, no, this is Mr. Happy. Okay. Wouldn't I thought she said erotic name. I'm like, well, I mean, you're kind of the way you're dressed, never mind. Okay, it is exotic. Arcelia. Arcela. Arcela? I don't know. Kamate, what is it? <laughs> you would know of all people. You probably don't watch this series, but Kamate, what, what is it? Tweet it tweet it to me later. Ground in the fertilizer. That's. Do you know that's that's not how? F mm -hmm. I guess that I guess fertilizer could work like that. I mean, I guess. Well, when I think of fertilizer, I think of poop. But uh, I guess they're gonna grind me into poop. Well, I guess if they eat me, and then poop me out, then I am fertilizer. But I mean, fertilizer's not just poop. I don't. I don't know. I I never. <laughs> I'm not a fertilizer connoisseur. connoisseur. I can't. Con connoisseur. Seer? What the hell? I don't know. It's funny. The word that I noticed the most was straight shot. Because it's from Final Fantasy XIV and I'm a bard. Oh, please tell me that's the gate to Adolin. Yeah, tell, tell us your name, little kid. Tiana. Okay. Tiana and Arcelia. It can be Arcelia because there's no, like, it's not L-I-A, it's just L-A. Arciella, that's why, I like, or Arciella. It's one of the two. Kamate, let me know. For those of you who don't know, you guys should know this. Kamate is uh, is a community, is, uh, you know, he's a community member. He's on the community team of Square Enix. Funny guy. Likes to, likes to poke a little fun at me. I got to do uh, an interview with the community team. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Are there bad guys here? Please tell me there's no bad guys here. Please tell me. When they said straight shot, they better mean no enemies. And Chigos, that includes. Because this looks like a place where Chigos would flourish. I'm very scared of Chigos, so. It's not a struggle. Okay, heart wings and the kind hearted. Oh, oh no. Do these say no? Please say they don't aggro. Please tell me that these are friendly bunnies. I guess there's no getting around them. We're going to find out. Okay, they're friendly bunnies. Whew. That's good. I, I'm just going the exact direction that she... She said take a straight shot. So this better be the way or I'm going to be very upset. Hey, look, another person. Okay, Mandragoras. I'm definitely okay from these things. Yes, that is it. I wonder what level these things are. They're probably post-level. They have to be, like, post-level 75. There's no way these are, like, level 50. And Hey, waypoint. I'm, I'm assuming I can use these waypoints to get around, like, um... What's it called? Uh, uh, like, the things in, uh... Yeah, it's attuned. Yeah, okay, so I can teleport. Oh, wait a minute. So wait, so if I go get all the waypoints in... What are, what's it called? Back in Vanid... I guess this is still part of Vanid deal. If I go back and get those, then I should be able to tell even more. Nice. Resume point. What the hell? What does this do? Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. Yeah, that would be... Oh, wow. Yeah, that's definitely Adolin. So yeah, I guess if I get those, I could teleport around even more. Uh, the Geo... No, that doesn't make sense. Those aren't waypoints. That's not the only waypoint I've seen, though, I feel. Like, the one in, uh, Lower Juno? That's not the only waypoint I've seen. I'll have to, I'll have to look into it a little bit. Because the cheap... If I can get around for even cheaper, I'll take it. Like, 
I don't care. I will take it. Okay, I guess we're doing a cutscene right now. Okay. Oh, this is like the intro we got for the cities, uh... The first three cities, like where you start the game. I kind of like that. The The text is pretty friggin' small. It's not, it's not even bold and black around the outside, so it's hard for me to see. Except when the screen is completely black. The next chapter of Vanadil's history. Yeah, see, we're still technically in Vanadil. Either way, welcome back to the No Life game. Chaos Tormentor, you couldn't have said it better. Listen, it's not a No Life game anymore, though. Not unless you're, like, trying to do everything ever like if you're trying to get a relic and a mythic and an empyrean like if you're trying to do absolutely everything you don't need to play this game for more than a few hours a day so i don't really consider this a no life game anymore like when i was younger definitely a no life game <laughs> i mean i was in high school so of course i had no life i would bring final fantasy 11 with me to my friend's house and they don't play it. <laughs> I had one friend who played it. I didn't bring it to his... Oh, I did bring it to his house. But, I mean, like, way over the years, just... I am reading the text, by the way, which is why I keep cutting myself off. I feel bad that this, this little girl has a lisp. I don't know if it's supposed to be playing on the fact that she's a kid. Or if she actually has a lisp. It looks familiar. Goodbye, Tiana. And, well, you only look familiar because you're wearing a brigadine body. Another newcomer to Adeline. Yes, we do. The Middlelands. You are. You would be correct. Whoa, uh, <laughs> calm down, I'm just one person. Alright, I will go check that out. I think instead... How long into this am I? Only 27 minutes, I mean. I have a, I've unlocked Adu Lin officially. Oh, is that another waypoint? I'm unlocking that. The more waypoints, the better. Now, I kind of want to just see. I just want to see Adu Lin. I've, I've never seen this place. It's my first time being here. I have absolutely no idea what this place is like. So far, it actually doesn't look like a far cry from the other city state. It looks it looks more How would I say? Like assassin like this is making me think like minus the palm trees, like Assassin's Creed-ish. I'm feeling like just the kind of city it is, like colonial uh like a colonial I guess it makes sense too because we're colonizing the area that it has this like ancient colonial feel. A lot of people tell me it, it plays more on, um, I guess, what's the word, like, Chinese themes, I've been told. I don't know how true that seems, this doesn't seem like, I don't know, I don't know Chinese, like, architecture very well, so I have no idea. But it just feels very colonial, you know, Amer a colonial America to me. We don't, there's only 13 of us, 13 uh, colonies, no states. So, uh, I like it. I think it's I think it plays on Final Fantasy XI themes very well. You know, it's simple. Like Final Fantasy XI doesn't it tries to wow you with simplicity. Like things are here, they're just buildings and wooden and wooden rafters and people. But it still is just something that you love seeing. I can't explain it because I'm not going that way. That's definitely a new zone. I don't have a map for this place yet, do I? Nope. I should probably get one. So, uh, hmm, only 27 videos. I guess I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna, do you know what I'm gonna do in the next part? I'm gonna do this next mission, and then in the next part, I'm gonna unlock at least Rune, Rune Fencer. Geomancer 2 if I have time. Alright, so where am I? She pointed. I guess I might as well just go back to where she was. I should probably look around more, though. Nah, you know what? I got a mission. I'm gonna do it. First few missions, luckily, I can do at, uh, at this level. I mean... I'm just running around talking to NPCs, but at least I can do it. So I guess uh, this right here is what I'm looking at. Hey, look, targeting NPCs through the through the wall. That's great. Now when this door is right in front of me and I can't cop... Okay, never mind. I guess there's no doors. So they just pointed me in this... Okay, the doors are open already. That's a, that's a step forward. It's got to be one of these people. Task Delegator, Brenton. 
I should probably use the Brenton. Yes, it's. Yes, I do have a charter permit. What do people just love me because I'm from a, a place that's far away? So the big old jungle. Oh my god. <laughs> Somebody is in Mountain Mountain Dew has one other player. That's actually surprising me. And I feel bad because I'm in the middle of this cutscene and I don't want to reply right away and I still need to reply to chaos. But <laughs> I'm also in the middle of a recording. Like, I don't want to get into a big in-depth conversation mid-recording. I don't mind getting into small conversation, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm in a cutscene right now. Pioneer badges. <laughs> Ooh, that was a tough test. Whoa, the consequences will be dire. Okay, well, it's a key item, so I probably can't lose it unless it's part of the thing. I've seen your YouTube videos. Thank you. Aw. No, you you better than that. The game creators are telling you you have to stay behind that desk. I'm telling you to be a rebel. Fight the system. Did he just call me hombre? No. No, you did not. No. No. I don't want to know anything. I don't want to affiliate with you anymore. Hombre. I still like your face. This guy is weird. Never mind. Stay behind the desk. You're weird. I still like your face. Stop. No. Don't like my face. I don't like my face. You shouldn't like my face. That's how it works. Okay. I'm out of the cutscene. Thousand bailed. I don't know what that's good for. Oh, hey, person. Did they leave yet? Did they leave because I didn't say hello? No. No, they couldn't have. Okay, I did. Level 50. Not bad. Uh, Alright, so I registered at one home point. I guess that's all I really need to do right now. I'm not going to do, like, the whole Adeline storyline as level 51. But Geomancer and Rune Fencer, now that's something people have been asking for. And I don't know... I don't know much. Rune, Rune Fencer is supposed to be, like, a... Like a magic defense tank, like that is what they do. They are for tanking enemies with strong magical attacks. And a geomancer, I don't know. I remember they like they place wards down or something like that. The wards give off like AoE buffs. Maybe that's Rune Fencer. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's Rune Fencer. Geomancer, I have no idea. You know what? Why don't we just unlock them? <laughs> So I'm gonna cut this part here. Thanks, thanks for watching. Hopefully, some of you who've been watching my old Final Fantasy XI videos are gonna be enjoying as I continue the series. Uh, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share. I'm gonna try getting more of these out as well as some other videos. I have a few ideas for the year uh, for a few things that are coming. So hopefully, you guys are ready to stick around and watch a lot of videos. Uh, also, be sure to uh, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. Uh, you guys know the whole routine by now. The whole outro. I don't even know why I say it anymore. I'm just, I should just say. Just, I should just say, here's my outro. You already know what it is. I don't need to say anything like, eh, you know, the like, favorite, subscribe, share. You guys, any, if you guys have seen the other videos, you guys know what the outro is. Like, I'm being real here. And, of course, you can follow me on Twitch. I haven't been live streaming much lately. For those of you who do watch my live stream, I apologize. I've, uh, I've been dealing with a few things. IRL. <laughs> Which, oh no, IRL. Deadly. So, uh, yeah, I haven't had as much time to stream. Also, Final Fantasy XIV latest patch so much time in coil and i haven't and i streamed a little bit of it but i haven't been streaming the past few nights of coil attempts just because it's <laughs> i've I, i've had a piss poor performance uh so i was a little bit embarrassed but i'll get back to it i'll do my best for you guys because i know there's a lot of you out there who enjoy watching my live streams enjoy watching my youtube videos so i'm gonna try harder i'm gonna try harder for you guys but anyway guys until next time and girls yeah i always say guys guys and girls but anyway guys girls until next time take care